Good afternoon from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Lovely day out again. Man, I just so, well, I sound so repetitive saying lovely day in Lauderdale by the Sea almost every day you watch these little updates. But however, it's true. I mean, just take a look. The proof is in the video, uh, live video to boot. And I'd like to thank uh, Windjammer Resort. They're right down the street here. Um, I hope they don't mind me putting their name up here, but I use their camera every day and I think it's only fair. Windjammer Resort, I'd like to thank them for their uh, live video feed. I use it in my videos and it's a beautiful resort. They're very reasonably priced and they're right on the ocean. So that uh, they didn't even ask me for that. They probably don't even know my, my little updates exist. So <laughs> here nor there, uh, I did like the place and I like their video. Uh, let's take a look at the markets today and see what's happened. You know, yesterday I uh, tossed a coin I said my personal feelings that markets were going to be a down a little bit from yesterday, and uh, the coin said uh, uh, bull market up a little bit. And, and I was I, I didn't the coin doesn't say up or down a little bit. It just says up or down. You know my little bull and bear coin. You know if it lands on the bear it means down. If it lands on the bull it means up. But it doesn't say how much. I did say how much. I thought it was going to be down a little bit today, and the coin did say it was going to be up, and it looks like we are down a little bit today. And I kind of expected this because. We had kind of a, uh, uh, a tough week this week with the pullback, and uh, uh, markets pulled back quite a bit, and they recovered quite well, and they're kind of pausing. We talk about this pause, which is very healthy for the market. So was the pullback. Yet, I, I was hoping, and I'm kind of glad we didn't see an, another instantaneous run-up right away, busting a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. That's just too fast. We need this kind of steady, slow, and as I said yesterday, steady as she goes action that we see. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Uh, we're not going to be busting any levels on a Friday. And, and seldom do you ever see that, too. You don't see Fridays closing super strong like that, especially after what we just saw this week with this pullback. And uh, let's take a look at New York prices, 1937 on the close. And, again, I want to preface on Monday. I think Monday is going to be open higher and the reason I say I mean not just because we're, you know that's a little trend I've been noticing that the world spot prices have kind of led uh, New York market lately the last couple weeks but that doesn't happen every day but it seems to be prevalent uh, and it looks like the world spot prices are a little bit higher both gold silver uh, platinum and palladium as if anybody cares about palladium uh, but <laughs> Uh, it looks like the markets are a little bit higher in the, the world spot prices, which are still open right now, and they'll probably maintain that a little bit higher. So I'm thinking we're going to see about the same level, probably most likely a little bit higher. And I'm going to take the bull and bear market coin, and I'm going to spin it, and let's see what the coin says here. Well, the coin concurs, concurs with me. It says it shows a bull, so the coin says that we're going to have an up Monday. Uh, and again, this is just for fun, the coin. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't trade on tossing a coin, although sometimes you got to wonder. And I think, just based on my experience and from what I'm seeing, that we'll probably see an up market on Monday. I don't think anything crazy, but you never know the way these markets are going. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not looking at a down day. I kind of see a, a break-even day, almost the same as it is right now at this 1945, 1950, and 2650, uh, and possibly an update by 25 bucks here, and, and silver uh, maybe by another 50 cents up to that 27. Uh, let's look at the ranges, though. Market uh, prices in uh, New York and gold ranges, uh, not a great wide range either, so kind of as I thought, it's steady as she goes today. Uh, 1935 and 1956, so that's kind of a very tight range that gold traded in New York as well. And let's take a look at the uh, silver as well. 2587, 2711 as a high, quite a bit higher range, but that's silver, man. That's what silver does. Silver has these crazy wild swings. I mean, if you're adverse to uh, wild swings like this, you probably shouldn't be in silver if you get a nervous stomach over it. But if you really like big gains and you're in a bull market, then just ignore these swings uh, or take a Pepnobismol or whatever helps you. <laughs> you should be fine. Uh, but uh, again, don't get nervous over these big swings. Uh, 2587, 2711 um, as far as the high goes. And again, it looks like the world spot prices are leading a little bit higher. Silver at, I mean, gold at 1945, silver at 6, 2650, and platinum at 948.32. Uh, let's look at this range. On uh, silver in uh, the world spot prices, 2587, 
basically a buck or so. So nothing great in world prices. And again, I think world prices right here being up uh, uh, after New York closes might bode well for Monday morning or, or just Monday in general. We may see, uh, again, I think we'll see at least par value close to what you're seeing here. Uh, if not a higher price level, maybe a $25 increment or so at best in gold. And, uh, well, silver again, crazy, 50 cents dollar moves. And platinum, not been following the trends on platinum too much because I don't get asked a lot about it. And palladium, I certainly don't follow because of that. Uh, but uh, palladium is just kind of chugging along. Again, both these metals, both these white metals, palladium and silver, I think, are, are underpriced. They need to be double what they are right now, in my opinion. Again, don't trade just on my opinion. Make your own. So that's my opinion. I think we'll see slightly higher markets uh, on Monday, and let's see what happens. Uh, Wall Street Journal, not much other than the same old bullshit and politics. Uh, I thought this was a uh, financial newspaper. It doesn't seem like it at times. And uh, looking at the front page, uh, the Dow kind of sideways. Oh, I don't know. It's up a little bit from that 2600, uh, 2500 range. It was trading at like a zombie for a while, but. You know, I don't know. Again, don't follow it. Don't know what correlation it has with the uh, gold and silver prices. Other than usually if stocks and bonds get hit really hard, gold and silver does well. Not seeing that here, and uh, gold and silver still is doing well. So I don't see a correlation there at all right now, actually. Uh, let's take a look at uh, markets. And markets is where actually Wall Street Journal should be showing um, uh, market <laughs> stuff about gold, silver, and markets. And let's see what's on here. Nothing about gold and silver, really, and nothing that leads me to think that markets are going to be significantly higher on Monday, but you never know. Anything can happen on a weekend. Well, this is Brian Kuzma from Commercial Wear Coins, and you are watching our YouTube channel for daily updates, and I really appreciate it. Make sure you like us, and uh, over here, here's our Facebook page, too. You can uh, get up, you can check in with us on Facebook. We you know, I run some articles on here occasionally uh, that I see, and uh, you're welcome to uh, comment out here and ask us questions and, and look at the other things we have on Facebook. And uh, I don't really advertise this much, but we also have an eBay page. Uh, if you want to pause this and copy this, it's coins-jewelry-collectibles. We list some coins and some other things because we also have an estate business that does jewelry, artwork, and collectibles as well. Uh, we don't really put bullion out here, and, and i got to tell you, I know I'm kind of pumping our eBay thing here, but I don't really recommend selling or buying bullion on eBay. I just think the possibility for fraud and other things is too great. And again, you probably have a really good precious metal dealer in your area uh, somewhere, I'm sure. And if you don't and you're outside of my area and you can't come see me, give me a call. I'll let you know if I know anybody in your state, your county, or wherever you're at uh, that you can do business with. Uh, with precious metals because again I don't really suggest doing it online I don't think it's safe and I think there's a whole host of issues that you can run across and even if your local guys a buck or two higher per coin or ounce or bar or whatever who cares keep the money local that's my opinion at least uh, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea call us 954-493-8811 for prices on gold and silver products anytime and if you want an education, uh, make sure you check out our other YouTube videos and what you don't know or can't find out there. Feel free to come by and see us anytime between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mondays through Fridays. Our hours are really consistent. And we're always welcome to help the new people. I don't care if you're spending $10 or a million dollars. We treat everybody the same here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, safe weekend. And uh, let's see what happens on Monday. Let's see if I'm right about that update. Thanks again. Appreciate you watching.